This is the second of two field deployable repeater systems that we've been working on for a police department down in the southern United States. It's a developing project. We showed you guys the last one um, probably about a week ago or two weeks ago. And uh, we've made a couple updates since it's kind of an evolving project. We wanted to show you what we've done with the system since then. Um, as you can see, we've got a big DX engineering um, tripod. It's a fiberglass tripod and it's, it's shown itself to be uh, shockingly uh, sturdy for being a fiberglass tripod. I would probably want to attach some guy lines to it if I was going to be in an area that had any wind, but um, it, it seems to be holding up really well. Um, so here's the field deployable repeater system. The first thing you'll notice is it's mounted in one of these nice pelican cases. I get a lot of people that say, you know, why don't you use this case? Why don't you use that case? You can save a little bit of money. I really like the pelican cases, so I'm probably not going to switch. Um, so in here we'll have, we actually have the repeater unit itself. And as you'll see, we have a switch. Um, this allows us to use the duplexer, which is behind this plate, or to bypass that duplexer in the event that we're doing single frequency repeater mode, or if they just wanted to use this as like a base station radio, then they could, uh, then they could bypass that duplexer. So you'll see we've got position one, which is our duplexer position, and position two, which is our bypass. Um, right now, we're gonna be doing a test of it with the duplexer in, so we're gonna switch it to one. And then as you'll see up here, we've got two ports. And that uh, also corresponds with the two positions on our switch. So we've got port one and port two. So since we're doing a, a duplexer test, we will go ahead and attach uh, to our port one. You'll see that these are N-type connectors on the top here. So we'll screw in our coax. I should also mention all of the uh, cabling in here is LMR 200. All right. so. We've got it attached to our antenna. Um, now, another thing is there is an optional battery for this repeater system. Uh, we showed that to you last time, so we wanted to show, you, show it to you without the battery, but just so you know, this could mount right up under there, and then you could use this completely uh, remotely without any access to outside power. In this case, we're gonna be demonstrating it with uh, running power directly to it. So we have an extension cord here, and all we have to do is plug this in and power it on. Hard to see those LEDs out in the bright sun. But now the uh, repeater is on, and as you'll see, if I key up here, you can see these LEDs. I don't know if you can see them uh, in the sunlight, but I can see them. These LEDs uh, turning on, showing us that we are activating the repeater. <laughs> 